Hey, it's Sean with Summit Racing and On All Cylinders. We're here at Super Summit 2016. We're in the Ride Tech booth. We're right next to the autocross track. I'm here with Darren from Ride Tech, and Darren's going to talk to us today about the Ride Tech Street Grip system. Now, this system was introduced at SEMA 2015. Correct. Uh, you guys actually launched it a couple months later. It came out in January. Yep. It's been a really hot product for you since then. Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, the Street Grip Suspension Package is a great solution uh, for the guy with his average muscle car that really wants to improve the ride and handling of that car to get a more modern drivability out of the car. Sure. But it doesn't necessarily Necessarily want to put a real expensive suspension package under it. Right. They don't necessarily want to do tubular arms and four links. They want simple bolt on components uh, at a reasonable price uh, with just the right components that make the most difference in sure. the right quality. Really just cherry picking the parts that make the most, the most change. All right, Darren. Well, we worked with you in SEMA 2015, six months back. We shot a video with you. You walked through a lot of the components of the system. Could you kind of go through some of those again for those who haven't seen that video? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said, the street grip package, we're really working on a lot of the parts that make the most difference. And some of those parts, uh, one of them is going to be our shock absorbers. These are an all aluminum monotube shock absorber. It's rebound adjustable. Loads of rebound dampening in these to give you uh, a lot more, take a lot of the body roll out of the suspension and really tie that car down and eliminate a lot of the floatiness that most of these muscle cars are known for. Uh, these shocks also have a one million one mile warranty on them. On the front of the Camaro kits, we're actually using a dual rate coil spring. This spring is a dual rate, so it's actually got a two stage rate. So at ride height, you got a real nice plush, soft spring rate. And then just as you compress the suspension about three quarters of an inch, it's going to switch gears to the second rate, which is much stiffer. You're going to be switching from about a 480 pound to about a 700 pound rate uh, throughout that transition, which is going to really eliminate the body roll and uh, help plant the car in the corners and take the floatiness out of it. And especially if you add extra loads to it, it's going to help compensate for that as well. So. Uh, the next thing we did on the front suspension, these muscle cars have very poor suspension geometry. And within working with the factory arms, we were able to utilize a tall ball joint to get better negative camber gain out of that car. And that negative camber gain is going to help keep that tire perpendicular to the pavement on, uh, on the ground at all times. So you can use the whole track with the, the whole contact tire patch uh, of the uh, wheel. Sure. The other thing we did with those factory control arms is we're eliminating the factory rubber bushings when we're using a Delrin bushing. Uh, the Delrin that we use is going to eliminate a lot of the deflection that you will see within a factory rubber bushing. Right. Uh, but with the Delrin, you don't get any, uh, it takes all the stiction and bind out of it. It really frees the front end up sure. uh, and takes all that stiction out so that the shocks and the springs can do their job appropriately. So. Um, also on the front of the car, we are using a bigger sway bar. Uh, this sway bar may look very similar to all the other sway bars on the market, but one key feature, again, we're trying to free that whole suspension up. So we actually use a Delrin bushing. It's a Delrin liner inside the sway bar bushing that allows it to rotate freely okay. uh, and really takes more of that bind out of the front suspension. Right. So, uh, One of the unique, most unique features of the Street Grip package is going to be our composite leaf springs on the Camaros. Now on the Chevelle packages, the factory coil spring cars, we'll use a dual rate coil spring in the rear and a rear sway bar. On the leaf spring cars, the Camaros, we got these composite leafs. These composite leafs drop about 60 to 70 pounds of wow. unsprung weight out of the rear of the car. And right. if you know anything about unsprung weight, I mean, it's, it's worth its weight in gold. Uh, so dropping that much Bundstrom weight helps a lot with the ride quality and the performance as well. And same as the rear bushings, we're actually using a Delrin uh, bushing to replace all the rear. And that Delrin, again, helps free up the suspension and eliminates all, almost all the lateral movement that you'll see out of a typical leaf spring. Sure. So. These weigh about nine pounds a piece. Yeah, right? you're looking about nine pounds a piece. And about and 80 from the factory. Yeah, wow. total. Yep. Okay. Big Excellent. change. Very nice. Right, right, and we're getting to listen to these awesome cars. You mentioned you've got, you guys have a couple cars here, yeah. 100 grand plus, and yep. they're running some really high-end systems. Yep. And that's what you guys have always been known for. Yep. But now you've come out for more your everyday driver, the guy that has a nice classic car, yep. he wants a nice uh, road ride. He's not necessarily doing this. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got the first and second gen Camaro here. Yes. We got 64 to 72 Chevelle. Correct. That's available right now, but you guys just unveiled a few more systems. Yeah, actually just last week we started shipping on the 55 to 57 Chevy street grip packages, okay. uh, as well as the, the 58 to 64 Impala, uh, 68 to 74 Nova is also shipping now as well. And coming down the pipe real quick, we're going to have the 63 to 72 C10 packages and the uh, 64 to 70 Mustang coming down the pipe. Awesome. Uh, and, and as many more applications as we can. 
So uh, Darren let us borrow Ridetech 72 Chevelle here, and this obviously has the street grip system on it. Uh, so we took it for a little spin. We're driving around a few neighborhoods outside of Super Summit, um, and he really wanted us to kind of get a feel for just how this car handles, you know, versus versus the original suspension on a, a you know an older 60s, 70s model car. Um, you know, those those cars will tend to you go into a curve, they tend to float a little bit. Um, you're going to feel everything a lot more. You want to slow down a bit more, um, and it's it's pretty crazy. You know, we're going slow now. We're going around a few curves in this neighborhood, but um, it, this feels this handles like a brand new car almost. I mean, it's it's tight, and you don't get that lift on the side when you're turning, um, and it you can accelerate into it. It's just a really really nice feel. So we'll get out of here and uh, get on the main road, speed up a little bit more. This road's pretty straight, but you can tell just coming out, you know, from a dead stop, it it just, like I said, you accelerate into it, it handles really nice, you don't have to, it doesn't lift up on you. Um, just a very nice driving car. What's amazing about this system is, this is, for the most part, a rather stock Chevelle. Um, you know, they described it as kind of their $20,000 model. Now, Ridetech, obviously, we mentioned they've got the cars that definitely go into the hundred thousands when you get these pretty hardcore autocross guys um, but the majority of people that are driving these machines they're they're not that intensive you know they just want something to handle really nice um, ride nice and it seems like this is a very good system for those purposes I think he said around the twenty five hundred dollar mark or so for the Chevelle or actually I'm sorry I think the Chevelle's more around the two thousand dollar mark and the Camaro is around the twenty five hundred dollar mark um, but still a pretty affordable system for what you get you can also buy the components separately if you want to kind of build piece by piece rather than buying the entire kit. So some nice options for you there. Okay, excellent. So all you guys out there, if you have a car, we haven't hit that yet. Sounds like Ride Tech's going to be coming out with quite a bit more. Stay tuned, watch summerracing.com and stay tuned for more info from Super Summit 2016.